The Kellett XR-10 was an ambitious American military transport helicopter project developed during the 1940s by the Kellett Auto Gyro Corporation. It was conceived in response to a United States Army Air Force's requirement for a helicopter capable of transporting passengers, cargo, or wounded personnel inside a fully enclosed fuselage. Drawing on experience from the earlier XR-8, the XR-10 featured a similar layout with twin intermeshing rotors designed to eliminate the need for a tail rotor and an entirely metal-skinned fuselage for added strength and durability. The XR-10 was significantly larger than its predecessor. It was powered by two radial engines, initially reported as Pratt & Whitney R-985s rated at 450 horsepower each, although some sources suggest Continental R-975-15s with 390 kilowatts, approximately 520 horsepower. The engines were housed in side-mounted nacelles and drove the rotors through long drive shafts. The aircraft could carry up to 10 people or six stretcher-bound patients, and its maximum takeoff weight reached nearly 7,000 kilograms, making it, at the time of its first flight on April 24, 1947, the largest rotorcraft to fly in the United States. Despite its innovative design, the XR-10 was plagued by serious technical problems. Like the XR-8, it suffered from dangerous rotor blade interference. Although engineers attempted to resolve this, disaster struck during a test flight on October 3, 1949, when the first prototype crashed due to a control system failure. Kellett's chief test pilot, Dave Driscoll, was killed attempting to bail out. He was fatally struck by the rotor blades. Following the accident, the program was canceled. A civilian version, the KH-2, designed to carry 16 passengers, was never built. The XR-10's designation was briefly changed to XH-10 in 1948, following the establishment of the independent United States Air Force, but by then, the project was nearing its end. Though ultimately unsuccessful, the XR-10 represents a bold step in early United States rotorcraft development and reflects the experimental spirit of post-World War II aviation engineering.